Welcome to tonight's special episode of Between Two Ferns. Today's controversial topic, embryonic stem cell research. Stem cells are considered to be one of the most promising pieces of future medical science. Although not everyone agrees on this controversial topic, it's almost certainly the case that the potential health benefits from the research outweigh the loss of embryos involved and whatever suffering results from that loss for persons who wanted to protect the embryos. I'm Zion Camacho. As usual, we here at NBC will be bringing you the inside scoop on an extremely interesting and controversial topic. I wanted to learn more about this topic of embryonic stem cell research, so I sat down with an up-and-coming super genius, Roscoe Wallace. Great to be here. Great to have you. So you've been studying uh, stem cell... Human embryonic stem cell therapy. Very interesting. So Dr. Wallace is here to talk to us today about the study of human embryonic stem cells, and more importantly, the ethical side of this dilemma. Um, so what exactly are these stem cells all about? Well, Zion, a stem cell is a mind-bottling subject. Mind-bottling? You know, like when it's so crazy it gets your thoughts all trapped like in a bottle. Okay. Anyways, embryonic stem cells are pretty crazy things. They're eggs that have been fertilized in vitro. So the base of this therapy comes from transferring cells from what we call a pre-implantation stage embryo into a culture dish. In this little dish, there's a nutrient broth that the cells feed on. And when they feed on it, they start to grow and develop. And then once they start to grow and develop, they begin to spread. Okay, well, this is already super complicated. So could you explain ultimately what the result of this dish is? Okay, so basically what happens is these little cells give rise to whatever DNA they're paired with like creating new body tissue or different cells. All right, so now that we have more of an understanding as to what these stem cells do, could you explain to us a little bit about the ethical issue and why it's at all an issue in society? Yeah, absolutely. So first of all, let me explain the two standpoints there are. So just like pretty much every issue in society, there's a lot of closed-minded people who only take into account their own thoughts yeah. when the issue is brought up. So, uh, I don't want to point out closed-minded groups. I'm just saying there are closed-minded. There's closed-minded groups on both sides of the argument. Yeah. Just like pretty much any other political debate. So, one standpoint is generally right-wing, conservative, Republican. And obviously, the other standpoint, left-wing, liberal. So, the conservative Republican standpoint, generally, is quote unquote, it is morally impermissible to kill an innocent human being, and they consider a human embryo to be an innocent human being. So they say it is morally impermissible to terminate a human embryo. So um, just going to put it out, I disagree. Um, the liberal side, left wing, generally less religion in their thought process. Um, they say that although a human embryo it's a collection of cells, although it is undeniably alive, it is not a human being because it's cells. It's just a small collection of literally 6 to 20 cells. So basically what they say it's totally acceptable to use this as research because it's not a human life. It's alive and it will die. That's undeniable. But the cells that we're using are not at all close to human life. And the difference between an embryo and a fetus is generally misunderstood. And what most conservative Republicans would say is that an embryo and a fetus are the same thing. While an embryo does not have organs, does not have any sense of anything because it's simply a small group of cells. And it most importantly, was most people consider most importantly, it doesn't have a heartbeat. So, okay. it's alive, but is it? That's the argument. I see. So, with all this controversy, what exactly is happening in the labs in this day and age? Great question. So, in 1998, the first embryonic stem cell 
experiment was successful. It was creating new tissue, and it worked. And although it wasn't totally advanced, and we've made more advancements since then, we just knew. We were like, okay, this, the, the benefits are crazy. So in 2005, when George W. was in presidency, um, he put a ban on both funding and just conceptual research on embryonic stem cells. And this ban prevented any government agency, like the National Institute of Health, NIH, to, they, it prevented them from researching, applying, or doing anything with the statistics and results they had gotten from any other lab tests. So Bush put on the ban in his presidency, and even though before he put on the restriction, the government did a poll. And this poll showed that 52% of the nation, more than half, wanted there to be funding for stem cell research because they believed that there was very little moral issue in doing the research. And they were the strong believers in what I believe to be fact and a huge population of scientists now that the benefits and the therapeutic promise with embryonic stem cell research greatly outweighs the loss or suffering that the embryos go through or even the people who want to protect the embryos. The Obama administration in 2009 decided to lift this restriction, provide funds, and encourage the National Institute of Health and other independent science organizations worldwide and nationally to commence research. So ultimately, how do you feel personally about how things are going and the progress of stem cell research? Um, I feel great because there are plenty of people who are firm believers that this stem cell research, the therapeutic benefits, the promise that it brings is so worth the money and the, I guess you could say, suffering that the people who want to protect these embryos go through. And the embryos don't suffer. I promise everybody that. This, the embryonic stem cells that we use are just that, stem cells. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first from super genius Dr. Wallace. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Between Two Ferns, and we'll see you next week. Thanks a lot. Thanks for your time.